All right, August 1st, 2020. Let's take a look at Drive Through RPG. We've got Battletech, still number one. Um, a viewer let me know that by the name of Jefferson Johnson, let me know that that book there is for both the role playing game and the miniature game. So I appreciate that very much. And number seven, we've got a traveler adventure. It's $12 for 49 pages. You can only imagine what I think about that. I don't think very highly of that. But this is Mongoose, and this is their second edition of Traveler. Um, I picked up the first edition. I thought it was pretty cool. I never played it. Some of the art was just okay. Um, and it also did a thing where it had a lot of random roles to like create your character kind of narratively. And I wasn't really looking for that in the game. And I looked recently for classic Traveler. And on Drive Through RPG, I picked up the Traveler book, which um, is very nice. I wish that they would add more print options for Classic Traveler so we can get some of those books reprinted. I am glad that this one is available. It's pretty much the only one they have. And I just like the, I like, I like the fact that it's Classic Traveler. It's 1977. Uh, a little bit fixed, I think 1981 or 1982 when this book came out, but the couple of fixes. But yeah, Mongoose just, they made some good products. And the second edition, uh, second edition of Traveler... You know, I, just, I look at the reviews and it's just kind of up and down and um, expensive. They've always been kind of expensive for their PDFs here on Drive Through RPG, but here it is at number seven, I think it was, and uh, this adventure. And nobody's talking about it yet, but I guess it's new. But they just put out so much stuff for this second edition, completely overwhelming, I would think, for someone who is uh, trying to collect a lot of stuff, especially get it in print. But um, yeah, so that's that's the traveler thing. We'll keep on looking here, and um, let's look at Dead Ball. Uh, Dead Ball, yeah, Dead Ball Four, Year Four. I picked. I was a backer of Dead Ball One and Two, and uh, I really enjoyed both of them. I, I think I did two, and then I got one as part of the the second year Kickstarter. And it's a great game. It's a great baseball with with dice and making up your team, and uh, you know you can do full full um, schedules and campaigns, pennant campaigns making your own characters, name them, you can get baseball cards and, and, you know, do whatever you want with it. It's very good and, uh, you know, for baseball, but I didn't back year three. Year three was kind of the theme around that was kind of like the vitamin S steroids years of baseball. And I, I didn't care for that. And then the fourth one, I didn't really care for that one much either as well. I just, I think that one and two is really it. And now I think it's kind of spinning its wheels, but it's still, it's probably very good still. It's 84 pages, 10 bucks for the PDF and to continue your collection um yeah year four has been released and uh yeah but yeah one two i think are very good and i can't of course say anything about that one and of course my computer continues to struggle fate of the oracle is going to be a greek adventure for 5e uh i like greece you know greek uh, themed adventures um settings a lot of the like jason the argonauts those type movies uh, are some of my favorites um Clash of the Titans, and so yeah, this is very cool. Obviously, uh, you know, being released alongside with their uh, their new book, it's kind of like the five E thing now, and it looks good. You can see here from these pictures. I like this this guy here, and it's got some maps, some some good stuff there, and it is seventy three pages again for ten bucks. That seems to be a running thing here, but uh, yeah, seventy pages of densely packed Greek themed adventure content for your five E games, and uh, yeah. I don't have 5e. I have played it and I uh, had fun with it, but I got plenty of other rules for D&D. So um, yeah, not too bad. Let's look at this. Demon Gate the Companion. Demon's always going to get my attention. Uh, so $12, 225 pages. Very nice. A source book for Demon Gate, the dark fantasy tabletop role playing game. That's interesting. So let's look at this uh, Arcanium Syndicate. Let's look at this company. And I guess here it is. Uh, Nice cover, man. That looks fantastic. I think I've actually seen this posted somewhere by someone. But man, high praise. 454 pages. $15 roughly uh, for that. Look, they got an alternate preview, a video. Um, let's take a look inside. Man, that, that's a cool piece of art there. And uh, obviously, that hopefully that goes all throughout it. So it was a Kickstarter game. And, and not extremely huge uh, preview, but... A little bit adult there, but uh, let's take a look at this. Maybe a little bit more information. And I like whenever they do in these previews where you can go and take a look and see more of the art and be able to present it a little bit better than what Drive to RPG allows you to do. So, uh, a tormented world of Koth has suffered through several catastrophic events that have all been foretold by the prophecy. Uh, so, obviously, some sort of dark fantasy type game. I bet it's pretty cool. I like the art. Everything I've seen from it's cool. Map looks good. So, that works. 
And uh, 12 ratings, a lot of discussion. Reviews look good. So, yeah, I guess it's uh, pretty good stuff to pick up. And a couple options there uh, for for print. And they got a couple other things, too. So, very cool. And, you know, that's one of the things, too, is some of these companies, like what happened uh, yesterday's video, is I talked about um, that apocaly apocalyptic, like Cthulhu type game. And uh, they didn't have it listed, the, the PDF. They had the, actually the print separate, listed separately than the PDF. They had the pretty much like a quick start PDF, which I linked to as well. So, it'd be good if they kept them all on one page or at least linked us to where that PDF is in your, your text here. But you can do a lot with this text. So, a lot of these companies. Uh, that just kind of barely put stuff out. There's really no, I don't think there's really any excuse for that. You should really try to give as much information about the game as possible, especially since the prices for these things are, you know, they're only going up more and more, and we'd like to have more information about them before we, we throw our money at it. But this game looks neat, and uh, they're obviously supporting it. Um, so, yeah, there, uh, there we go for um, August 1st. Got a whole bunch of big movers, but some stuff here and there. And I'll have the links for all these down below in the description if you want to click on them and take a look, uh, you know, a deeper look in, uh, to them yourself. And um, if you, like I said before, if you like them and you think they're good, uh, let me know. And, um, you know, write down below. Tell me what you think of them. Thanks for the help with that Battletech. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.